All right, welcome to another episode of Kinda Q. And we got some kind of cool stuff for you. Um, as you can see on your screen, if you have tried to have a crack at it, it is the Kahagum Uvik Nye. This is episode Gog. So if you don't know your numbers, that is episode two. And that will be on the exam later on. So beware of that. Um, take notes. Uh, but again, the writing that I have on there is not correct, correct. It's just how it helps me remember easier of how I think it sounds. And that's what I tell you to do when you're listening to these songs to pause it in certain areas to focus on that area and write down on a piece of paper how it sounds to help you out if you don't already know the song. But I'll do my best to teach you, and from time to time we'll have uh, some guest speakers and singers and maybe even artists and stuff like that come onto the channel, but that's in the near future. Um, I think I just seen a singer walk through the door. So this is the Kahagam Uvik Nye, which is the Bluebird song, and it's usually sing in the evening because it's an evening song. But we'll get into the details later. What do you think? Shall we jam it one time? Real cool like? Yeah. All right. We're going to sing something kind of cool. So listen up. this song it is the bluebird bringing the evening time so when it brings the evening time it brings the darkness like a big drape coming over us bringing the the nighttime to us and as it does that you ever wonder how we get those beautiful colors around here well with the song it talks about how the bluebird has its beautiful tail feathers and they're very colorful that's what that's why you see it's so beautiful as our sunsets you know those arizona sunsets and that's what the uh Kahagum brings it brings the darkness but also the beautiful skies as the darkness covers the land the second part of the song it talks about the dancers on how they're prayer sticks that they used to dance to the song are very beautiful. The vig on the prayer sticks, which are the, the yagda is the prayer stick and the vig is the plumes on the prayer sticks. You usually see these sticks dressed up in yarn and ribbon and the vig, which is the plumes, the feathers on the, the sticks. And that's to represent the bluebird and also the evening, which is brought to us by the bluebird. So just a little pro tip right there. If you know the song or heard the song before, that is the reason why we sing it and 
what it talks about. So that is the Kahagam Uvik Nye, the Bluebird song. And there's many ways you can hear it. There's many ways that people tell it and sing it. But we try to keep it traditional over here and just sing it too long, too short, which is four times. And everybody sings differently. You can sing it however long you want. It just depends on where you're at and uh, how much time you have, I guess, or how long you want to jam it. It's a very good song to jam. It's kind of cute. But that is the gist of it. And uh, we'll go ahead and jam out a cappella too. And because um, I don't know if the shrafkut is too loud. And that's also going to be on the exam. What is a shrafkut? I'm going to send those out, remember what it is, and also remember to write this stuff down. Um, again, the spelling and everything is not perfectly correct. It's just what helps me remember everything a little bit better and how it sounds in English other than how it was written in autumn because I tried to write it down in autumn before and it doesn't sound anything of how it's spelled, but that's a different battle to uh, win, but... Other than that, this is just the gist of it to get you guys started and uh, get you jamming in no time. So we'll go ahead and jam out a cappella. We still got our guest singer here. So we're going to sing some kind of coo. What do you think? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Jokana jo pare yamayona maise. Jokana jo pare yamayona maise. Kana gaha kai oi matam. Sapo manya sinya vive vayangana. Ahu no ninga vu vevo himata. Jo kana jo pare yamayona maise. Jo kana jo pare yamayona maise. Kana gaha kai oi matam. Sapo manya sinya vive vayangana. Ahu no ninga vu vevo himata. Kana gaha kai oi matam. Sapo manya sinya vive vayangana. Ahu no ninga vu vevo himata. Kana gaha kai oi matam. Sapo manya sinya vive vayangana. Ahu no ninga vu vevo himata. All right, again. It is the Kahagam Uvik Nye. And uh, there's going to be many different people that you ask that will tell you a little differently, but that's perfectly fine. Um, just depends on where you're from and who teaches you. And grasp that, you know, take it all in and, and kind of not necessarily make it your own, but just consider everybody's teachings. We're all taught differently, especially nowadays. A lot of this has changed, and a lot of it is saying differently. Um, I hear that a lot, especially from the elders, but don't di get discouraged. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep learning as much as you can. Just do what you got to do, and I hope this helps. And I want to say thank you to our guest singer. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. All right. This has been another episode of Candy Q. And we don't have a word for bye, which I hope none of you guys say to your family, but I will say, Tanye. And that is going to be on the exam, so try to figure out what that means. And uh, we will see you later.